Tip number two, there are seven ways to select columns using Column Transformer. So in tip number one, we selected by column name, but there are a bunch of other ways. Let's take a look at our example. So we've got the same four column data frame. Now make column transformer, which I showed you above, came out in 0.20. Another thing we're gonna use in this tip is make column selector, which came out in 0.22. So our goal is to use make column transformer to select these two columns and one hot encode them and this will be the end result. And what I'm showing you here is that there are seven different ways to do that and they all serve different needs. Now before I show you these seven, I just wanna mention that remainder equals drop is actually the default. So that's why you don't see fair and age get passed through because remainder and equals drop is the default. Okay, so here are the seven methods for selecting these two columns. The one we've already seen is selecting by data frame column name. So I just say embarked in sex. The next option, option two, is to select by integer position. So this is position one and position two. It starts at zero, one, two, three. Now, this is super useful if your input is not a data frame because your input to make column transformer you know, when you do the fit transform, does not have to be a data frame. It can be a NumPy array. And those don't have column names, so you could specify by column position, okay? The third option is a slice. So I want column one um, through column three, and like all slices in Python, it is inclusive of the first value and exclusive of the second value, meaning I want columns one and two. Now this would be super useful if I have like 100 columns in a row that I wanna select, I would just say slice one comma 101. All right, your fourth option is Boolean value. So I can say false, true, true, false, and it will select those two columns. Um, the use case for this is, is less clear to me, but maybe you can create a condition on the columns attribute and come up with this. There are probably different use cases I haven't thought of. Um, the fifth option, and all the rest are gonna use this make column selector. The fifth option is to use a regular expression pattern with the column names. So you say pattern equals, and I say this is a regular expression. I want anything that includes E, or S, all right? So capital E or capital S because regular expressions are case sensitive um, and that includes only embarked in sex. Now that's kind of a silly example, but you can imagine you had 100 columns and 10 of them have some particular like starting or ending value and you match on that because those are the columns you wanna select. The next is D type include. This is, I wanna include object columns only or I, I want to include object columns and some other type of column, and uh, it selects only the object columns. So this is useful if, say, you want to one-hot encode all object columns. And the seventh option is what data types do I want to exclude? Let's say you want to transform all except for object columns or all except for numeric columns. You can do that. So with a, a pandas data frame, you can use any of these seven options. With a numpy array, I think you can only use options two, three, and four, okay?